Hi, I'm Colette Miller, and I'm an artist, and I'm best known for the Global Angel Wings Project. These big interactive wings that people stand in front of and remind themselves that they are the angels of this earth. I started the project and I had like the idea at the end of 2011. It was like a vision really. I had been doing a lot of yoga meditation and I was thinking about the divine in all humanity, what connects all humanity. And wings started coming to my head and I would imagine them on the walls as I drove through LA in the big industrial sections. And so I decided to act on it one day. I started the wings on butch paper that I had primed in my studio. And then I just started drawing big wings on them and started painting them and layering. And then I carved them out and then I take them on site to the location and I glue them up with see-through paint. And then I'll draw over them or paint over them or carve them out and sometimes I'll paint the background around it. It's to remind humanity of our higher natures, that we are the angels of this earth. It's really about our true selves, which we all have. I have, I think, wings on about five or six continents and worldwide. Some have been, been destroyed or some of them are inside, but I would say maybe 200. You can find them in the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa, and Sky Space in Los Angeles, and Cuba, and the Grammy Museum. Everybody, everybody comes and loves your work. Oh, thanks. Everybody loves your work, Mom. Thanks. That was a good blessing you divided into the street. Okay, bye. Right. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> this particular pair of wings is called Humankind, and the reason is, the colors of the wings are representative of humanity's shades of skin tones. We all come in different shades. And the kind in human is what we should emphasize. We're all of humankind, but we are human kind. Because we're in such an urgent time, I just think a lot of artists feel they need to take to the streets. And especially with this type of project, which is public and it's interactive and it's large scale and it's meant to be for the people in the world, not to be, you know, put away in a potential museum or gallery, which is great too, because it preserves things. But street art is, is of the time. It's the zeitgeist of the time. Yeah, they give me a sense of hope and peace. Sometimes though, there's Schools, like children will study the Global Angel Wings Project and study the Colette, Colette Miller and they'll all do wings of themselves, like in elementary schools and middle schools. And that always really charms me. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I live right here and uh, it just inspires hope. My my friend literally passed away yesterday, so coming out here and seeing this right now is incredible. Wings I did in Juarez after the drug cartel violence. This was like in 2013 or 14, and the photo became photo of the year. My dream areas are conflict areas and war zones and, and areas that need the most hope and that need the most encouragement and belief that there's still the human spirit out there. If somebody is interested in working on the street, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, ideas out there, but my real advice to anybody doing any type of art is to really stay authentic, like really listen to your voice and I know they say that in writing and in acting and in all like types of creativity but it's really having the courage to own your own voice. I believe in angels and 
the fact that we can be angels ourselves and help to manifest the miracles that are available in this universe. And they're done. <laughs>